This Thanksgiving morning, millions of runners will gather to jog through their hometowns, connect with family, friends, and neighbors, and of course pro procrastinate on their cooking. Now, local turkey trots have made the holiday the most popular racing day of the year. And joining us now from Oakland Turkey Trot is Maddie Davis and Gina Rose. Maddie, Gina, thank you both so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Yeah, thank yeah, you for having, for having us. us. Yeah, excited we're excited to, to talk about the Oakland Turkey Trot. Yeah. First and foremost, for our viewers who have maybe never heard of the Oakland Turkey Trot, who are you guys? Oh, gosh, we are an Oakland-based company. Um, we actually have an office in Jack London, and we've been doing the Turkey Trot for, this is about our sixth Sixth year? annual. Sixth annual Turkey Trot. Including yeah. the pandemic. Oh, so during the pandemic, it was still going. Yeah. That's wonderful because, I mean, it's outside, tons of yeah. spacing. Yeah. Now, what is the main goal of the Oakland Turkey Trot? Sure. We partner with the Alameda County Community Food Bank, um, and our goal is to raise money and feed some people this Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the ways that you guys accomplish those goals? Definitely. Well, we invite local charity partners to come out to our finish line festival. We have local gyms, local partners at our finish line as well. Mm -hmm. And we love to have our local artists do the mile markers. And you can see right mm -hmm. here the Oakland Zoo. They are our partner for the Run for Wildlife. Mm -hmm. So there'll be kiddos ages two to eight running with Stomper from the Oakland <laughs> as well. So yeah. <laughs> Love that. So it sounds like the Oakland Turkey Trot is very community-based. It serves the community by the community for the community. Yeah. Why is that so important? Oh, gosh. I think it's what Oakland needs right now. You know, I think that's what we're trying to do is spread a little bit of joy where we can and create really a place that is safe for everyone to come and gather and just be together. And you can walk, you can run, you can crawl. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it's really just being in the community again. I think it's what we all need, and I think everyone's ready for that now, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we're just trying to create a safe space for everyone to just gather and enjoy being around everyone. I think the holidays, that's what people want. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to provide fun. that. Yeah, yeah have totally. Have a little bit of fun. And all of, the fun. All, yeah, all the, the fun. all the fun. All the fun. <laughs> and totally. then food. And yeah. then food, of course. <laughs> food and drinks, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, when it comes to the turkey trot, actually, you mentioned fun. You actually encourage people to dress up in costume, oh right? My oh, my gosh. Yes. Highly encourage all the turkeys. <laughs> so why is that part of the fun? Why was that incorporated into the race? I think, gosh, ever since I was little running turkey trots with my mom, like, everyone always dressed up. I think the cool thing about a turkey trot is it's meant to be fun. It's meant to be a celebration, right? We host races that are for maybe a more serious runner, a more elite runner, but turkey trot is just for everyone. And I think we encourage people just to have fun and just be them true self, be their true selves. So if it means a costume or whatever it is, like come out and do it. I think really it's yeah. just a family event and a community event. Mm -hmm. And so we just want people to be whatever they want to be at Turkey Trot. I yeah. love yeah. that. Yeah, and yeah. everybody's so happy. I love that. Totally. Now, quickly, G uh, actually, Gina, I'd like for you to walk me through real oh. quickly. <laughs> if somebody has never been to the Oakland Turkey Trot and they were new to the experience, tell me exactly what they would be able to expect. Yes, so it's the last day to register, mm -hmm. OTT.run. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to come out and run, walk, dress up, have a mm -hmm. mimosa with us. <laughs> and what you can expect at 8.30 a.m. will be kicking off from East Shore Park. Uh, it's a three mile run, a 5K around Lake Merritt, and you'll get to see us at the finish line. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be pouring mimosas. Doing all the things. Oh, wonderful. Now, you guys brought some material with you today. Can we go over, starting over here with this awesome beanie. Tell yeah. me what this is. Well, first of all, we brought that for you to have, of <laughs> oh, course. Oh, it actually like, matches we, you. Thank we you. came does. with gifts, yes. of course. Came but hearing gifts. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, this is actually um, a hat we created just for Turkey Trot. Mm -hmm. um, and it can be purchased through registration. It's just like an add-on. Mm -hmm. It's just a fun element. You'll see people wearing it on race day as they're running. Um, but something they can wear all year. To it's just show off. chilly in the morning, too. Yeah. yeah. And Absolutely. speaking of something they're wearing, yeah. what about these medals? Does everybody receive a medal? They do. It's part of a sweet finish. Yep. Uh -huh. And it actually is. is there a sweet surprise? We had to do some <laughs> bling with it, you know. Oh, we just had is to. This a, pie? a spinning cherry pie for it's that a sweet finish. Spinning cherry pie. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm. I'm not. You should running, wear that. But should I maybe put you this earned one it. On? I earned it. That's some bling. You really earned <laughs> it. This is really good. <laughs> Look at Love that. Love this. Awesome. Okay. Looks now, great. What about the beer? 
Oh my gosh. So this is one of my favorite projects. We work with a brewery called Buck Wild Brewing. Uh -huh. um, they're down near Jack London and we actually created, um, it's actually their sour. But we labeled it for turkey trot. Yeah, and then we called it sweet, sweet finish. finish. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I feel like a sweet finish for this interview would be let's if we all let's do it. it. Let's do it. And is this served after the race, during? This was actually an exclusive thing we did through Reg as well. So if anyone goes on to register today, um, it can be purchased through registration, mm -hmm. just like the beanie. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Okay. Yeah. You want to crack it open? Let's just let's do, do it. it. Let's, let's do it. it. <laughs> now, let's I, do I, it. I heard you mention earlier this is actually a gluten-free beer, correct? This is, yeah. Buck Wild is, if I'm not mistaken, the only gluten-free brewery in California, mm -hmm. actually. Um, and so they're our favorites. It jives with running. Um, people want to see kind of like healthier options. And gluten-free beer is wonderful. You don't get like bloated or it's low in alcohol yeah, content. Yeah, room for all the yeah. Thanksgiving treats. Yeah, and I Buck Wild's just pick. one of our favorite places. Well, let's cheers, Yeah, ladies. let's do it. Cheers to the cheers. Oakland turkey trot into the community. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thoughts? Ooh, that is so good. What Sweet flavor finish? is that? It's a oh, fruited gosh. sour. Fruited sour. I was going to say, it's, it tastes a little fruity, but... Yeah. Oh. Kind of is like an orange juice vibe. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> ladies, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. We appreciate your time so much. Thank, thank you. you. Of course.